what's going on everybody and welcome back today i want to go ahead and discuss call of duty modern warfare specifically all the hate that i've been seeing about this game i don't truly understand but before we even jump into that please do me that favor like the video subscribe to the channel and follow me on twitter in the background you already know i got some decent gameplay i'm on the grind for this uh domestic camo so that's probably a little bit of what you are watching a portion of it was on the stream but a portion of it wasn't on the stream because i'm also trying to get these long shots out of the way and it takes forever unfortunately but that all being said we're going to go ahead and jump straight into the discussion of the day okay so it appears that on the internet and in the cod community a lot of people do not like Call of Duty Modern Warfare whether that be the multiplayer side or the campaign side the spec ops side or the war zone side it just appears that there's a lot of negative stigma about this game out there and I noticed it and I play it pretty regularly and I've been supporting the series for a very long time I'm talking 2007 maybe 8 so I've been playing just about every Call of Duty but it just seems like with this new generation that the game receives a lot of negative reviews for some apparent reason yeah there's a lot different about the game obviously and there's not all goods about it however it's not a bad game in my opinion I like the game and I've been playing them for a long time now is it absolutely the best game no everybody knows Black Ops 1 is the best game in the series but i digress i digress people say mw2 is the best but no i remember finally at mw2 getting noob tube from across the map so i digress i'm saying black ops 1 and that's my opinion if you got something different let me hear it down below in the comment section nevertheless moving on i feel like a lot of people don't understand the evolution of gaming like things have to change and a lot of gamers don't really like change definitely when it comes to call of duty in the perfect ideal situation call of duty wouldn't be a paid service now it wouldn't come in seasons it wouldn't need things to make people buy things however a lot of people don't understand that the cost of making a video game is not like it used to be it's actually very expensive now and a lot of that cost have to offset onto the publisher which is Activision so when it comes to making a profit it's a little bit harder nowadays than it used to be so now creative studios they can't really do what they want to do all the time they can't actually take a lot of risks because they have to make money they have to make money in order to build the next project in order to keep things afloat keep people employed and keep things moving back to the game itself by all means it's not perfect the spawns are broke the engine isn't that bad the code is not that bad however it's old it's aging it's not evolved but it still works and that's what a lot of people don't understand the game itself doesn't have all dedicated servers there are dedicated servers however at times there are peer-to-peer -peer connections as well I've gotten host migration screens but a lot of the times you don't there is a significant decrease in the host migration screens when people quit the game which happens often Come on now give them a break switching gears you have to understand that the cost of doing business has gone up when it comes to these publishers think about it like this infinity ward raven software sledgehammer game treyarch all of them have to appease the grand overlord activision in order for them to even pay for the game so there are always going to be some money grubbing tactics out there because we all know cheap ass activision is all about money and we all know that if activision doesn't see something that's going to make them extra money or potentially a large amount of money they're just simply not going to approve the game and put up the money to develop the game simple as that but even the devs have come to an understanding that the general of games is changing I'll give you an example we don't have map packs really anymore most of the times we get all the maps for free but they offset that by having the loot tier system or the skins that you can buy every single week that's brand new yeah you may potentially unlock them for free later on however the psychology behind that is if you want it now hey you can pay for it now or you could potentially get it later nevertheless the code is in the game and eventually it'll become available that's just the way content works when it comes to video games but it 
can actually be obtainable right now if you pay this money. That payment actually helps offset developing the game, the DLC, and appeasing the Grand Overlords, also known as Activision. Another thing, a lot of people seem to not really know and acknowledge how much Call of Duty has grown. If you were to go back and play Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, the original OG, you would definitely be able to see that we've made some pretty good strides. Why, if you go even play the remaster, that game is ass, let's be completely honest. That game is terrible. The spawns are terrible, it's not that fun, but it is the original, it is the OG. Now that you've had better, going back is hard, it sucks because you know better now. It is still proof that there has been some evolution when it comes to these COD games. And that's the biggest point that I wanted to make. There have been changes, yes, but they have been good advancements. Yeah, a lot of it sucks. Oh my God, I'm thinking about you, Infinite Warfare. Everything about that game sucked. But for the most part, what I'm trying to get out there is that the game has changed, but it has changed for the better. And it is a lot of good things in the game. Now, I'm not talking about skill-based matchmaking. No, that's just straight ass, but that's a whole nother video in itself. But right now, just understand it and give the game a chance. Let it breathe, learn to play it, learn to get better at it, and I'm sure you're gonna be having some fun. But I digress and I'm beginning to ramble, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. If you got something different on your mind and you wanna get something out there to the community, let me hear it down below in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter. Appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one.